On the eastern shore, people are also preparing for whatever tropical weather heads our way. WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown in Fairhope tonight. Yeah, here we go again. Even though heavy rain is expected to be the main threat with this storm system, people here are hoping that's the only impact. It's not easy waiting for tropical weather when you're still recovering from last year's storms. It's not a Fairhope thing. It's, it's, a, it's a coastal thing. Woody Goforth lives on his boat at Fairhope Piers Marina. That portion of the pier is still without power, and for months he's relied on his generator. Tropical weather impacting the Gulf Coast is something he's all too familiar with. I've been through a couple of them down here, and uh, that don't make me any stronger or weaker. It just makes me more wide awake of what's coming. Hurricane Sally and Zeta eroded the shoreline here along the South Beach. Crews have completed the temporary repairs just in time for weekend weather. I've ridden out the last four years worth of hurricanes on my boat, and I don't think I'm going to stop anytime soon. The potential impacts keeping those on the pier watchful for how the heavy rain band set up across the eastern shore. I always try to keep an eye when there's any kind of tropical developments because sometimes they go from not so bad to worse really, really fast. Much of the heavy rain expected Saturday. The city not expecting major issues with Mobile Bay this time around, but large amounts of rain in one area could create problems. In Fairhope, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.